Jamie Pate here and welcome. I am going to share a real quick card tutorial. Uh, this week we're celebrating National Send a Friend a Card Day. And what a great excuse to make a card. So um, I love card making. It's one of the first things I ever did when I started out. So let me give you a idea of what we're gonna be doing. And if you'd like to play along, Here's what we're gonna need. I'm using the brand new Hawthorne Paper Collection by Heidi Swap. And what I've done is I have started with the card base here. It is five and a half inches long, uh, tall. And I scored it at four inches so that when it came over, I had a little bit of a lip here. So it scored right at four inches. I have another piece of pattern paper and it is five and a half tall by four and a quarter wide. I have a three by four card that I have trimmed out that we're going to be using for this as well. I have some washi tape that's gonna that's from the Hawthorne collection, and I'm gonna be using a sticker from the cardstock sticker set. And then to start, we're gonna be working with the art screen ink. And this art screen, this well-loved art screen, just be your beautiful self. So let's get started. So one of my goals, wants, if you will, this new year is to um, get into a better habit of creative play and creative exercises. So when I do that, I tend to not be my conservative self in how I go about maybe creating a scrapbook page or working in a planner. I just play and I have fun. And so one of the things that I like to do when I just have creative play and fun is um, use mixed media mediums. And so I've been pulling out Heidi's texture paste and stencils and this art screen and a couple other ones and obviously the art screen ink and just been having some fun and just playing with pattern making. And so when I did that, I'm like, I really want to make a card with, cause this is one of my favorite stencils. So what I've done here is I've taken the art screen ink, I've used a scraper and I've just scraped that right over the top of this three by four card. And luckily this stencil just covers that card perfectly. I don't have to mask it off or anything. So when I'm done with that, I'm gonna set this aside so it can dry. And then I'm going to um, get a cloth and um, I use disinfecting wipes. It has a little bit of a scrubber to clean this off. So let me do that. I like to get these cleaned off just about immediately so I can get all of the ink out of the grooves and so it doesn't dry. When it starts to dry, it, um, it doesn't have quite the same clean finish as I would like. So, you know, sometimes I'll leave my stamps dirty or my stencils dirty. I try to be better about that, but when it comes to the art screen inks and the screens rather, um, I'm pretty religious about going ahead and getting them cleaned up immediately. And so I'm gonna set this aside and let all that dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to get the rest of our card set up and ready to go. We started off with this um, five and a half height, just a regular card base. And um, I scored it at four inches and then this goes out another quarter inch. And the reason I wanted to do that is I just wanted to give another layer to the inside of my card. And I liked having this polka dot show through there. So that was one reason I did that. And what I'm gonna do For right now is I'm just gonna staple it in place and I'll probably be adding more to that. Um, but today I just wanna show you the outside of this card. So this just, just to give you an insight, this just gives you some more um, layers inside of a card when you just add a card like that. Plus you have this layer in effect here. Okay, so I have um, rounded the corners of my three by four card and it's going to be sitting um, I'm gonna kinda give it a little bit of a border. I'm grabbing my adhesive. But I'm gonna give it a little bit of a border here. So I'm just gonna adhere that in place, like so. Cause when I bring the sticker in here, this 
the floral sticker. I'm going to kind of position it so it kind of goes inside a little bit of the grooves there of the words. And um, what I like to do with these, I like to kind of take some of the sticky out from the sides and um, pull up the edges a little bit. I like to give it just a little bit extra uh, texture and dimension and height so it's not completely flat. You'll see I do this a lot in my crafting and I don't like things to lay flat. So that's going to go there. And then what I've done is I've taken this gorgeous floral washi tape, part of the Hawthorne collection. I've already snipped a piece and I um, V-notched it right there. I want to bring it right here on the edge. And again, I just like the layers. I like a little bit of the transparency that this tape gives. Then I'm going to take this striped piece. It's a skinnier tape. And um, I'm going to use it and bring it underneath here again, just providing some extra texture and interest. That's all that is about. And probably going to run my fingernail along this edge here because again I like for these pieces to have dimension, to have a little bit of texture. Um, it's super simple just to go if you have a distressing tool, use that. Um, oftentimes my fingernails become my tools as you can see how grunged up they are with some of my creative play I've been doing here lately. And so just give that a little bit of lift there. And um, this card, except for a sentiment inside, is ready to be given for National Send Your Friend a Card Day. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you want to see any other kind of tutorials, if you'd like to see more cards um, and just small, short tutorials like this, I'd love if you give me a comment down below. And thank you for joining me. See you next time.